Look at the size of this radiated tortoise, guys. Holy. I won't be a proper Florida man until I get eaten by it. Look out, look whoop, out. Whoop, whoop. That is a snapping turtle. Know, that it is, is not it a is. box turtle. Gimme, give gimme. Give There's one. <laughs> Yo. Yes. Is that awesome? On the monitor lizard, look at this, he's on the scent. That's, what do you think? Dude, no oh, way, he's got something. He's got something. He's got something. Oh, oh, it oh, it oh wow, it did go running. And we found the other two. Here they go. Oh, what are you guys, kissing each other? What's going on over here? Hey guys, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video than you're used to seeing on our channel, but it's something I've been wanting to do for forever. We are here at Camp Kennan with Kennan Harkin, a good friend of mine. We've known each other for years now. We don't get to see each other this Not much, Not a lot, right? no. And we've lucked out. This year we've gotten to see each other more than usual. So we're gonna to be touring his place today, and you guys are coming with us. It is not every day that you get to sit and hang out with not one, but two of the largest tortoise species in the world. These animals belong to Kenan. This is Nostradamus. He is an Aldabra tortoise. And this here is Darwin, and she is a Galapagos tortoise. And well, need I say any more? Look at the sheer size of these unbelievable tortoises. I, I, I'm in the presence of true giants. These tortoises might look very similar to you guys, but they are in fact two completely different species. And the easiest way to tell is to simply look at the head. If you look at the head of the Aldabra tortoise, it has kind of a cuter look to it, uh, more of an elongated snout, flatter head on the top there. But when you look at the Galapagos, you get more of that classic, typical tortoise head. And you are showing that to us right now, aren't you, Darwin? Look at that, blunter snout, rounder head, wider on the top there. I'm sorry, that's your main difference. And we found the other two. Here they go. Oh, what are you guys, kissing each other? What's going on over here? <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's Nazi. Nostradamus was a, a hatchling in 2004, man, so guy has gotten big. And you raised him from a hatchling? Yeah, I did. Dude, that, I, that is like the most perfect growth on a captive raised Aldabra that I've ever seen. Mickey's really good looking. Really, really, really ridiculously good looking. You know, her shell is so smooth, but this is like next level right here. That, that tortoise has always been outdoors, and I, I'm i not an overfeeder. I just kind of um, allow the animals, I, I, to be perfectly honest, sometimes it's two do times a week they eat, yeah, sometimes yeah. three. All this, there'll be vines that they're always grabbing and eating and stuff like that. So Darwin, you got in, what'd you say it was, 1996? No, I got Darwin uh, in oh, yeah, 2013, 2013 but okay. she was born in 96. Born in 96, and you flew out where to get her? I flew to Marin County, California. Wow. Um, it, was, it was through my friend Chris Hagen, who does animal management yep. at the uh, Turtle Survival Alliance, yep. and he's a funny dude. And he's like, hey man, we don't have room at the center for a female galop. Would you mind going to California? This lady will give you a budget. And that woman was very kind. She wanted the animal to go to a good spot because right. it was her late husband's. And she oh, had been okay. getting on in age. And so I flew to Marin County, was going to rent a minivan and drive it back. But my buddy who used to be the, this, the uh, executive director at Bush Wildlife was like, Kenan, just fly it home. Yeah. I'm like, how? And so he made some calls and Delta Airlines flew it back, flew it back. and waived the oversized baggage fee, which no I thought kidding. was pretty cool. Yeah, it was that awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, she wow. was a celebrity, Darwin, as, as we rolled up to SFO <laughs> to the airport. Like, I had to build a um, really cool uh, crate that I could open. Everyone looked in, all the red coats, that's the Delta mm -hmm. security and yeah. uh, manager people. And they're all looking in like, no way, dude, this animal's flying free. So what was really cool is I had, I had flown first class in my previous existence as an announcer. Yeah. Yeah, as a sports yeah. announcer. I never flew better class than when I flew with a giant Galapagos tortoise. Wow. I was on the tarmac. I watched them load her. I was on the plane first, off the plane first, special holding area. It was really cool. Yeah. So anyway, that's my, she's, she was a celebrity. Yeah. It was awesome. No kidding. Yeah. Wow, that's her a pretty and Kim uh, Kardashian. epic story. They both yeah. have big butts, so <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. This tortoise is slightly cooler. I think yeah. so. I think so. Yeah. Nostradamus, the Aldabra tortoise here, just like our tortoise, Mickey, 
Kenan has raised this animal from a little hatchling and the growth on it is absolutely incredible. It's so amazing to see these giant tortoises growing up as they would in nature and attaining that huge dome to the carapace and just being smooth and strong. You want to see a tortoise with a tall walk. I've said that in so many different videos and the giant tortoises are no exception to that. They need to be able to lift their bodies entirely off the ground and they need to be in an environment where they can do that and they can get the proper exercise and well, take a look around. They're in a good spot. Again, these are these are two of my favorite rocket walks. Yeah. Um, this species in particular. I mean, they're the only two of this species I've ever owned. Uh -huh. I got them the exact same day I got an Ostradamus. Okay. And as babies. As babies. Okay. And as soon as they were large enough to not fit through here, mm -hmm. they lived outside. Wow. So they've been out here um, doing their thing, yeah. and um, they tamed up so well. Yeah. I mean, you could do anything with these guys. With, with size, are they bigger than rhinos? You know, I've seen certain rhinos get the same size. I know that there's there's two, there's a couple species of rhino. There's the Steindactery, Stein, yeah, 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 something yeah. or other. Uh, and then there's the mainland version. I don't know which one gets bigger, but they um, generally these guys, the males of this species, tend to get pretty large. Or they're the biggest I've seen. Um, yeah, she's, she might see him and just start causing trouble. Yes, we are. I had Ty Park over here uh -huh. a few years back, and he saw this female. He's like, I want that female. I'll give you anything. I'm like, really? no way. She's gorgeous. Look at this yeah. female. Yeah. She's quite beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, and she's very spicy because she's bitten off a few of his toes. Now, she does this all the time to him, or is she, she only when she's grabbing? No, she does it. They bred once, and I never had them breed again. Really? So, one with, and done. with our rhinos, uh, Blue will only attack Rocky when she's gravid or yeah. for like two weeks after yeah, she, she lays the like, eggs. And then she, they're back like they're back to being best friends. Yeah, again. it's cool. And she only does it outside. Inside, she's awesome. best friends with them. Interesting. You know? Yeah, I added this little um, kind of hiding area to yeah. create a visual barrier. And once I did that, they calmed down. It was wow. interesting. So you guys know Rocky and Blue, which is Cyclora cornuta. Those are our rhinoceros iguanas. Well, here are their cousins. These are the Cuban rock iguanas, Cyclora nubilia. And every bit is personable and intelligent and huge and Godzilla looking. And they're just ultimate all time favorite genus of lizards. And, and you're probably the same. With I, them, I right? agree. I, I absolutely agree. Um, these are my favorite um, rock iguanas to hang out with. So cool. Look at those spikes. Trust her with my life. Yeah. I believe it. Haven Creek and the most famous animal in here is the turtle. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Oh, I see Marge. Do you see Marge? Yeah. Is, she right, is that her right there? Do -doop, do -doop, do -doop, do -doop. <laughs> Come on, Marge. Yeah, you're getting big. I don't have any offering for you, do I? Ah, <laughs> look at her. Yeah. Is this crazy? <laughs> Hang yeah, on, hang on, oh, hang on. I got it. I'm oh, perfect. Hang on. We got to do this. Yeah. Look, what are we going to do here, guys? See. What do I have? What do I have? Look out. Have? Look whoa, out. Whoa, whoa. That is a snapping turtle. I know. It's it not it a is. box turtle. trying to find something to show her here, but it's the phone will work. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't got room for more, kid. That's Look where you want to go. She's so cool. Isn't that bizarre, dude? Is she a common or Florida? She's a Florida. Okay, cool. Yeah, so she's just going to go <laughs> plunk herself back in there and uh, swallow it and then She'll be chasing me again yeah, for more. Yeah. Isn't that nuts, dude? I love She's it. so cool. And uh, we have a little red foot that's going to get a couple of little pellets from our friends at Flukers. So there you go. Um, down here, we do get some of the scud, you know? Yeah, what is that? I've always wondered what that yeah, is. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's so funny. It's a very superficial fungus that can uh, get on their shells. Um, but to be perfectly honest, a little chlorhexidine. And then, yeah, or sylvodyne. Okay. Which is the best medication yeah, yeah, yeah. in the world, yeah. Silvadine cream. All right, let's see. Hey, Marge. I love how he's talking to her. What do you think of this dude? All right. <laughs> she's she's literally him. checking him out. Oh, now she's checking him out. <laughs> she's like, yeah, he's cool and all, but you know what? <laughs> I want to eat. I, oh, no. Now she's fixated on my nose. That's dangerous. She Can you looks, imagine her acts, when she's huge? She acts so much like him. Isn't it so crazy? Cool. There we go. It is cool, right, Nate? All right. Oh boy. How can you even fit anything else in there? That is amazing. Yeah, it's full of food. Yeah. 
butts. <laughs> look at that butt. Okay, Hannah, look at that yeah, look she, at that. she knows how to take care of herself, she huh? She does. She does. That's and then my kind we of lady. Have, of course, snapping turtles are survivors. Man. They are. We have these beautiful uh, unifilis. They are, of course, the spotted Amazon river turtle, but they're so big that they've lost all their spots. They're so old. Oh, and then wow. there is a caiman in here. There's Lucifer. Yeah. But just watch your step here. Step on these rocks. Don't step there. You see him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's God, just awesome. He's hanging out. That's where he wants to be. I also have Salvini in here. Really? Yeah. They do look so, like, imposing. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, yes. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Right. Like, I've seen it in the videos and it seemed bigger. No, right? but that's full grown male. I guess Otis is not the only turtle that's obsessed with noses. This is Marge, the snapping turtle, and uh, she's starting to get pretty darn well known for her incredible personality. And uh, well, it's no surprise why. Look at this thing. She's got no fear. She does the same thing Otis does with craning her neck up and just kind of staring you right in the face. And it's just so cool to see another turtle do this. Totally different species. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Marge. She knows I don't have anything for her. She's done it. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine her when she's full size behaving oh, that way. Man. But you don't stick anything fleshy in there. You just um, you can stick the camera closer. South American twist neck turtle. Such a bizarre, bizarre. Let me add bizarre to that species. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just really cool. And you know, since this is my South American exhibit, yeah, it's um, I I was gifted these by a mutual friend of ours. And um, yeah, it's just a cool animal. But what's funny is the male's on the other side, and so I was like, how the heck did that animal get over? So I think it's slender enough that it fit through diagonally uh, yeah. square grate wow. yeah. that separates uh, the dwarf caiman enclosure from the smooth front. It's part. it's like similar to you know the thickness of an African pancake tortoise. Right. So wicked, and these things. I think a big mistake that people make with these is they'll keep them in like just a straight deep water tank yeah. and, they, and they really just like to walk through water. Right, similar to a Mata Mata, right? Yeah. They're yeah. not going to be strong swimmers. Mm -hmm. They spend a lot of time on land. They tend to hide a lot when it's dry like this. Yeah. Once the humidity goes up, these animals just start moving. So yeah. uh, we'll put her back or in this little area because she's found herself a little microclimate. Yep. So we'll just cover her up. <laughs> You got snake necks in here. I do. Oh, I do. gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. There's one. <laughs> no. Yes. Is that awesome? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yo, let me get one of those. There you go. Yeah. Look at these dudes. Yo. Yeah. Those are Seabin Rocks. Seabin Rocks. So, okay, so oh I went to Al's house. Yeah. And I got to see his adult Seabin Rock. It, and that was the turtle that got me the most excited. Yeah. Out of the hundreds of turtles I saw that day, an adult mature Seabin rock that big shell, and then the neck just, it's, it, that's a, saur, a sauropod. Yes. Okay, that is a Diplodocus, that's a Brontosaurus. Uh -huh. I love it, that long neck, and, and just seeing them gobble up shrimp and things like that, they're just incredible oh, little hunters. This yeah. might be the most wild turtle I've ever seen. Isn't that awesome? The soup, uh, as I like to call it, and uh, you know, Let's see, let's see. What do we get from the game? Uh, I don't know, you get to <laughs> identify the turtle, man. You didn't give me a prize for, for all that lesson, <laughs> the lesson I got uh, when I was doing. All right, ready? There you go, what is it? Ambonensis. That's right, look at this little dude. Look at that. No, um, I, I, I get it. I, you got a nice turtle stack there. I do, I have a stack of weirdness. Yeah, that's the best all stack the weird to have. in my hands. Look at that. Oh my God. See, I could see this was a hit. Yes. Never mind the croc I know, right? Look at all the there. work you put into this yeah. place and we're yeah. all stuck in a tub here. Whoa, look, the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stop It's because we were searching for <laughs> like the, the thrill of yeah, victory. The thrill of the hunt. Okay, guys, okay, I'm sorry. I know, I'm weirder than you are. That's cool. Okay. Glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. All right, so no trip to the camp is complete without meeting Slinks. 
guys. Now you've already met Slinky, so we're Several gonna. Several times, yeah. You what guys we're gonna go do? Ah, come on out, Slinky. What do you want to do? You want to eat my foot? No. Oh, wow. Now Slinky is an amazing animal. We're just gonna have him come out here for a longer. Um, there you go. Tanner knows the deal. I learned that from my friend Kevin McCurley. Just make a fist and allow him to sniff on you. Um, he's always been good. Uh, then again, he is a monitor lizard, and uh, you can reach down and pet him. There you go. He's really interested in everyone here. Wow. But he is an awesome, awesome lizard, man. So it's cool. I, I love seeing people's reactions to him, even other animal people, because yeah. he is so impressive that, you know, you, rarely do we get to see lizards this large. What do you say? What do you smell? You smell the Otis t-shirt? You want that t-shirt? You're going to come up on me? Is it my scent? What is it? Is he full grown yet? He's full grown. Yeah. Um, but he, I would consider him full grown, but well, that's that's a good question. They never stop. But. Yeah, he's he'll get a bit bigger, and in fact, what's happened now since look at his body language. Yeah, I see him. I'm just right. sitting. You still. just stay still. Um, so basically, because he's in such a large enclosure, uh, he has just been growing just by leaps and bounds. Wow. People that saw him a year ago come back, yeah. and they're like, "Dude, he's huge." So I don't want him to go too far. I'm gonna hand this over yeah. to you. Um, he gets on the scent of things. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of beautiful marsh rabbits that live around here. And that tongue, as you know, is just incredibly tuned to help him find food. I'll guarantee you he's gonna stick his head in there. Has to. Yeah. That's what <laughs> yeah. I do. I'm a monitor lizard. Look at this, he's on the scent. Let's see if he catches a rabbit. No oh, way, he's got something. He's got something. He's got something. He's got something. He would shake his head though. Let's see, guys. What does he got? Does he have something? I would. I thought I would. Hear, I gotta be careful when I lift this. You see anything? No. no. Oh, it it oh it was, it, wow! It, it did go running. It did go running. Get out of here! <laughs> so we just saved the rabbit's life. He smelt something. I know a rabbit lives there, and he just took off. Yeah. Is he trying to get another one or just turning around? There might be another one in there. I don't know. Holy smokes. <laughs> you gotta love this. This is exciting, huh? Yeah. The rock's just The rock is around. moving. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, he's a great animal, so. Look at that. Look at that monster come out. Come on, Dale. Come on, snap the tooth. Wow. Look at her coming. Come on, Dale. That's my big girl. Now these girls and boys have been, this girl and boy have been eating a lot lately. They're both just waiting. They know I don't really have food. They understand when yeah. I'm gonna feed them and they understand when uh, we're just kind of showing. Um, so it's show and tell today. Um, I respect them, they're beautiful animals, but make no mistake, even though it's an alligator and they call them the puppies of the swamps, they can do a number on you. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, uh, we got a lot of animal friends and we're used to going and seeing different things at their houses, but it's not every day you go to your friend's house and you see their backyard alligators. Yeah, this is true. Same as the truth. Yeah, so. <laughs> There are turtle ponds and then there are turtle ponds. This is uh, this is the reason why Kenan's here, right? It is, it is. <laughs> this, this pond sold the house. Yep, there you go. And uh, it's just an unbelievable ready-made sanctuary for turtles like this Florida red belly turtle right here. We've shown you guys a lot of the northern red belly. Here is the Florida cousin. Not all that different, a little bit more of an orange or yellow belly, thicker stripes on the face, and uh, just all around an awesome aquatic turtle. Hey, and you know what? I just wanna, I wanna draw your attention to someone who loves turtles. Dale would love to have that turtle. If you start throwing turtles around, this tur this gator will eat them. In fact, Fred, my buddy who I got these from years ago, um, he told me, never put turtles in with them alligators because you'll have headless turtles or no turtles. Turtles here, gators there. Look at the size of this radiated tortoise, guys. So we've shown you so much of this species on our channel and we've even shown you our big male. 
but this guy absolutely dwarfs him. Uh, he's gotta be every bit of 18 inches, which is pretty much the max for the species. The males are of course gonna be larger than the females. He's got that insanely concave plastron, and he's just such a quintessential example of the species, which is so awesome to see in captive management, because you usually just don't see them just so incredibly grown and in just such wonderful condition. And it's a wonderful example of the extreme variation in size with these species. You know, you'll hear somebody say, oh, a Herman's tortoise grows to be only eight inches, but you guys have seen Athena who's over 11 inches. So never underestimate the sheer size that any of these species can get. Hey, we're filming. <laughs> I didn't mean to hang up on it. <laughs> oh, I have my phone, I have my phone. I, I would not end, end my... Oh, all right. He would have taken me in with him, though, and the, then the joke would have been on me. Just at the end, I smell. Jumped. Would have been awesome on our channel, though. I smell horrendous, so... <laughs> we all do I don't want you to be standing no, close no worries, to me for no too worries, long. Dude. I don't even know what to say to close this. This place is ridiculous. It's not necessary for it to be this cool. You guys got to see an unbelievable amount of species, some of which we have, some of which we absolutely don't. Um, so thank you. My pleasure, It's dude. been a long time coming. Yeah, I, I really am happy to have you guys here. Um, I'm happy to have this guy here most of the time, but they talk loud when we're doing closes. <laughs> so. so just to be clear, I was doing what I was doing first, and then he yelled at me, so I will. <laughs> I can't help it. I come from a, a very high-strung television background where you have to be absolutely silent. Yeah. One of the best things I ever did to my sound guy before we end the Garden State Tournament Tortoise video, video, my sound guy was like, Kenny, can I get a microphone check? And I'd go, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really mean that from the heart, okay? <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. That's awesome. Yes. Guys, good. make sure you check out Camp Cannon's channel if you haven't. And also, Serpa Design, because Tanner is here too. Yo. <laughs> Yo. So, yeah. We'll see you guys soon. That was Run great.